Puppy dog is hella sketched out right now. Is that you in the viewfinder? Are you gonna be okay with that? Pretty girl? You chill out. Relax. Stay well. I was gonna do a haul of all the stuff that I got, but I realized that all of my Lush stuff is gonna be a little bit later. So there tends to be some delays due to everything going on in this world. So, um, yeah, I just, I, I'm not really mad about it or anything, but I understand. And I'm just gonna keep going and do like a first impressions of some of the stuff that I got from Ulta. Some of it's kind of stuff that I ran out of and then also I wanted to try some new things. So there's a couple things that I want to try today and I just want to have a good time again. We're just gonna have a chill good time again. But these are all new things so I'm gonna tell you how I feel about them firsthand and we're gonna do it right away. We're not gonna spend extra time on the intro besides thank you guys so much for supporting me throughout this whole entire deal. Um, I just want to say um, we're so close to 100 and I'm so happy about it. That's insane. I didn't even think I could hit 50 which is really cool. I know it's a small accomplishment but nonetheless it's an accomplishment so Thank you guys so much by the way. There's like two or three things that were mainly what I was supposed to get which was Chapstick, the NARS, uh, what is it called? The NARS Tinted Glow Booster and Sheer Colored um, Under Eye Setter. It's supposed to be somewhat brightening but I ended up getting more things because I was like you know what why not because Go crazy! Ah, go stupid! Let's just start in order of me putting on makeup. I got a big sign in the back from Rosie because she does not like YouTube videos, clearly. If she dips out, I completely understand. I ended up getting two chapsticks. It is the Sun Balm Cocoa Balm Moisturizing Lip Balm in Pina Colada. I literally just got this because it said Pina Colada and I'm a big fan. <laughs> I stan. And then I have the Pacifica Rainbow Watermelon Lip Balm. And this one's 100% vegan and cruelty free. So these two have been really cool. Um, I noticed that this one is a little bit thicker and it's not as like, it's just like any other chapstick. But this one on the other hand, like the watermelon Mexican candy, the best candy, but also like in a chapstick. I need that in my life. So I'm probably going to end up buying more of these. These are really good. Kind of put this on the back of my hand one day and it was a lot. So um, I'm a little scared of this one. We're going to use the Revolution, the Makeup Revolution Glass Skin Primer Ultimate Dewy Finish. Oh my god. Let's just test it out, okay? Let's just test it out together. We're fine. We break out, we break out. We're, we're not going to see anybody social distancing and I'm only gonna use a little teeny tiny drop like this I would think that a little goes a long way for this primer I'm gonna tell you right off the bat it just feels thick with two C's and there's nothing new about this one I just decided to order it after my last video it's the NYX micro brow pencil in ash brown this is my, my favorite brow pencil of all time. Alrighty, so we're getting to my favorite part and the most exciting part. Um, the NARS Tinted Glow Booster. This is the reason why I made an Ulta order. Um, this is what I'm excited for because I saw Alyssa Ashley use it in her Flawless Base tutorial. If it makes it glowy, I need it. So, I wanted to try it. Ooh, and it comes with the pump. I'm just going to pump it on my face. I don't know how much I need. I'm going to try it with this, maybe. But I saw her rub it in like lotion, so maybe that's what I should do. Rub it in like lotion. It feels like a glotion or something. Oh, I'm going to be extra glowy. <laughs> the glass primer in this. And I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't feel as thick as I thought originally, like it soaks into the skin. I hope I don't break out too much from it. Um, yeah, I do recommend putting the Glow Booster on with your fingers. Um, 
yeah because it just kind of soaked into the sponge really quickly so I'm just gonna put this all over my face and this shade that I got is usually the medium tone but I didn't really like the light tone sometimes I'm like right in between it doesn't feel oily or anything like that um, we'll see how well it layers yeah it just feels like a really nice glow shade. it feels like the Max Strobe cream kind of so the next product we're gonna go into is the foundation I got the wet n wild photo focus um, stick foundation I've been wanting to try a stick foundation for a while so I just decided to get this it was hard to find the right shade I got beige vanilla and then we'll blend it out with this elf sponge <laughs> that matches I did a pretty dang good job um, in order to get my foundation match I decided to do the foundation website and it shows you like you can do multiple different foundations you don't have to do just one of your foundations just kind of like every good match that you find that you have and it, it pulls up almost every brand and this is not sponsored or anything um, but I really like using it especially if there's not really good um, swatches or anything on stuff and I feel like the glow is holding up I don't know if it's because of the NARS radiance booster or if it's the Makeup Revolution primer. It is a good shade. I may not look at it like it in the viewfinder, but no, I think it looks good. It just, I'm ugly. <laughs> the next two products that I have, I'm gonna use together just because um, they're both concealers. I ended up getting a couple different things from Makeup Revolution because I wanted to get the primer and uh, try one of the other concealers. I found that this kind of sold really well in Ulta, so I wanted to try it myself. One second, I gotta get like, my dog out. Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer in C7. And then I have the Medium Sand Hydrating Camo Concealer. And the reason I got medium sand is because I feel like it would match better as far as like hiding stuff instead of highlighting. And I got this one to highlight. That's why I wanted to try. I go like this. And this one is supposed to be like a really buildable coverage. So we shall see. I'm just going to put it right where I normally like to highlight my face. I kind of put a little too much, but we'll see. The Makeup Revolution concealer is really nice. I do want a little bit more coverage. It does really good as far as, far as like brightening. But let's see as far as shade and coverage. I'm just going to conceal any kind of spots with this e.l.f. camo concealer. I didn't want to do the matte concealer. I'm not really a big fan of matte. I like everything dewy as you can probably already tell. But I've heard so many good things about the camo concealer and I figured because of the price and the quality, why not? And might I say the sponge is doing very, very well. Oh my god, it looks very gross. But I feel like it's doing very well as far as building up just like a beauty bakery sponge or even like a, like a beauty blender almost. And it's very, very soft. It feels very similar to a beauty blender too. I'm going to add some right in here, just because I feel like I want a little bit more coverage. The coverage is like perfect. Everything is coming out perfect, and now it's time to jinx it all. Wow. So, this little tiny powder, I mean, look at how tiny it is. It looks like an eyeshadow little pot, but it is a eye setting powder, and I, I think it's supposed to be brightening. I'm not too sure, but it says sheer at the bottom, so it can't be too burning. This is the e.l.f. under eye setting powder. I'm going to take a tiny little brush, dip into the lid first, and just set. This little powder was only $4, so if this works out, we buy like five of them. I don't really see much brightening happening. It's probably not brightening, it's just probably an under eye powder. But I think it's supposed to just help not get too, like, creasy underneath the eyes I'm put a little extra just because I normally like light fake fake underneath my eyes so I'm going to set the rest of my face real quick with some MAC powder but I do want to set everything because it feels very slippy slidey from the primer and the booster 
let's get on to the Brave Spirit palette, shall we? It looks something like this. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Alrighty, because I bought Makeup Revolution, I think it's over $15 that you get a free Brave Spirit palette. I don't want to use eyeshadow today, but for the sake of the quality of eyeshadow powders, oh my god, I'm going to just use that little brown and see. If you guys want to see a uh, makeup, wow, those fingerprints, and look at, there's you guys. Um... So yeah, if you guys want to see like an actual tutorial on using some of these colors, let me know. Um, I will totally do it, but I just am not feeling it for today. It's rainy and I just want to play Animal Crossing after this, so... So we're going to take just this brown. Looks like a brown. Dummy. Okay. I just like... I mean, <laughs> we're just really going to blend this out because I don't want to deal with it. The brown is nice for what I can sp spoke speak on it. Um, yeah, the brown's nice. Does anyone ever like do color and then they're like, yeah, let's do color. And then you end up doing the same colors because me. I kind of already know Elf's potential. Let's see if this will come back and bite me in the butt. So, I just put a light amount and I'm going to take the clean side. Semi-clean now. Ooh, Yep, let's not layer that one. <laughs> Learned our lesson here. So make a revolution. Fast base concealer at least. Let's back over. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, you might not be able to see it, but I see it. There's like legit holes in the concealer because the Makeup Revolution made me patchy, but we're not going to judge it. We have one more product, so I'm just going to skip everything else and then get back to you. So we tried to make this hair a little bit better, but to be honest, I don't want to wash it. I don't want to look at it. We're just going to have to deal with it, okay? We're just going to have to deal with it. So this I saw on a Snapchat show at whatever it's called, like a short or whatever, but um, they were reviewing the Fawzi's Lash Lift Maybelline in New York, and it looks a lot more appealing than the Anastasia Beverly Hills, no shade, but I saw the lady put this on and I was like, I, I want to try that. Let's try it out. This is what the applicator looks like. It has a little curvy. So it's definitely adding some length. I've only put like two layers basically. I'm getting a little messy here because <laughs> I'm trying to get every single lash. I usually don't like to do too much mascara, but I'm I'm actually liking the way it looks. It doesn't look spidery or anything like that. I feel like a lot of times people look really spidery with their lashes. It's not like, oh my god, amazing, but it did give a good length without getting too clumpy. Um, it's not, it's not really, s it's a little smudge proof because I got a little on here and I had to wipe it away really quickly, but nonetheless, I like it. Um, gloss in Always Shining. I did a separate order just because these were half off the next day after I ordered, so I was like, I, I need to get it. Um, the one that I always use is the shade Clear. Um, it is like honestly almost gone. I should have got another one. I have the Curvy Lip Liner on right now, so I'm just going to put this on top. Curvy Lip Liner from Colourpop, by the way. It has that same scent. Cute. I'm not surprised that I like it. So, I like any lip glosses to be honest. I love any kind of gloss. 
The Kylie glosses are really nice because they're not sticky and they feel like they actually hydrate your lips instead of just kind of drying them out later on. I think one of the best products that I um, did not expect to work really well was going to be the Wet n Wild Stick. That is really, really good and I'm really glad and I'm excited to play with it a little more and kind of compare it to, or kind of use it with other, like tag team with other foundations. So I'm excited for that. Um, something that I did not, I mean, was the worst, which wasn't even that bad, was the um, Fast Base Concealer from Makeup Revolution. Just because you could not layer it on top, you kind of got it a patch because of um, the layering. And it probably had to do with setting it too, so um, that's the only thing. Um, I like to be able to just clean up whatever and not have it be a big deal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a good time. Hope you guys, as far as everything in this scenario goes, I hope you guys are doing good. No cabin fever or anything like that. Um, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos because I know I am enjoying making these videos and being able to edit and stuff. If you guys have any suggestions on what I should do as far as like next couple videos, you let me know. I have some a couple of them planned, but I like to see what you guys um, suggest. So please let me know down in the comments below. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, go ahead and like this video if you did enjoy watching it. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.